everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Last week, anthropologists announced the discovery of a new ancient ancestor to modern humans. The species was discovered in Rising Star Cave near Johannesburg, South Africa, and has been named Homo nalidae after the Sesotho word for star. Its exact place in our evolutionary history hasn't yet been determined, but its discoverers note several similarities between this species and Homo floresiensis, the human ancestor discovered in Indonesia in 2003, the one nicknamed the Hobbit. Fossilized remains of 15 individuals belonging to the species Homo nalidae were found in Rising Star Cave, and researchers working at the site estimate there could be hundreds or even thousands more yet to be discovered. There's evidence to suggest they were placed in the cave deliberately, perhaps implying a level of ritual and ceremony typically only attributed to humans. Two papers on this newly discovered species are published in the journal eLife. Next up, a cancer patient in Spain has received new, custom-made, 3D-printed titanium ribs. The patient is a 54-year-old man who had his sternum and several ribs removed due to a chest wall sarcoma. Those ribs were replaced by a custom-made titanium implant manufactured in Australia using 3D printing. Working from high-resolution CT scans of the patient, the team at medical device company Anatomics in Melbourne were able to build an implant that exactly recreates the structure of the original rib cage. Surgeons have been using titanium implants to repair and replace bones and joints for years, but this is the first time a 3D printed titanium implant custom made for an individual patient has been used. The patient was discharged 12 days after surgery and is said to be doing well. And finally, a cancer drug derived from an endangered plant has been successfully reproduced without that plant in a laboratory. The drug etoposide, also known by the brand name etopofos, is commonly used in chemotherapy. It's derived from the Himalayan mayapple plant, which is currently classified as endangered due to overharvesting. But that may no longer be a concern thanks to researchers at Stanford University. The researchers isolated the molecular assembly line that produces the necessary chemical within the mayapple plant and were able to replicate it by implanting certain genes into another, more common plant. The long-term goal of this research is actually to remove that molecular assembly line from plants altogether. The hope is to find a way for the chemical necessary to make etoposide to be produced in yeast, which can be cultivated in large numbers in laboratories. In the future, this same technique could be used to replicate other chemicals, providing stable sources for a potentially endless variety of necessary drugs. This study is published in the journal Science. A never-before-seen ancient human ancestor is discovered, a cancer patient receives new custom-made titanium ribs, and scientists find a better way to make a cancer drug derived from an endangered plant. That's the good news. What if we had your bones replaced with titanium? Then you could be an indestructible kitty.